My father arrived here in the mid-1930s to Washington from an Arkansas rice farm, and he was very successful at his brokerage work as a young man. So the company put him on the train to Arlington and said, please sell these home building lots to builders. And he loved the Arlington. He thought he had come to the promised land. So my grandfather ended up working and, and building some single family homes in Arlington in the 40s. Eventually moved on up to building apartment buildings and, and our company, our family business owns and, and manages those apartments to this day. Dad made some money and he felt it was important to donate to healthcare and the local hospital is a logical place. Virginia Hospital Center is unique in my mind compared to a lot of other hospitals. Certainly it's a robust hospital, but when you come here, it doesn't feel to me like you're entering a huge medical campus and kind of leaving the surrounding area and kind of entering this bubble of a world. It, it feels like it's integrated into the community. It means a tremendous amount because then you have some place in the area right here to go when you have a pain or anything happens. It's important to me for myself and my family to be part of the story of Virginia Hospital Center because I was born here, my sister was born here, my son was born here, we live here, and uh, we want it to continue and, and flourish. There's been a lot of changes over the years, coming from a dairy farm to uh, all the buildings that we see here today. And with the construction of the outpatient pavilion, it's growing, but it's growing in a, a very thoughtful and sustainable way, fitting within the neighborhood. It really feels like it's the puzzle piece that Arlington is needing to be uh, the world-class city that I think it can be. I just want to be thought of as a happy benefactor. <laughs> and I think the hospital is the first place to go if you would like to donate funds as a family.